Hello there, welcome to Wheeler's Oyster Bar in Whitstable. Um, we're one of the oldest restaurants in the town, we've been here since 1856. Um, I'm just going to give you a little insight into what we do at Wheeler's um, and cook a couple of dishes which hopefully will infuse your appetite to come here and eat. Um, the kind of uh, infrastructure that we run in the kitchen here is we try to use local day boats that go out within a day, return within a day. Here's a prime example here of um, a local uh, local produce that which literally is no more than 12, 13, 14 hours out of the water. Um, and we try to incorporate as many of these ingredients into our dishes as possible. So the first dish I'm going to cook you today is scallops with um, pork belly, okay, and a little bit of crackling, apple jelly, and compressed cider apples. Um, so as the pans are on, on the heat and now getting nice and warm, I'm going to proceed. So we're just putting a little bit of olive oil into the pan here. We're going to take this lovely pork belly, and what we're looking for with a pork belly is a nice even fat uh, running through the belly. This takes about three days to produce just to get it to this stage. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it into the frying pan. Okay. Not not too hot, but what we want is just the bubbles just coming up the side here, and we're going to slowly start to caramelise the fat and start to render it down. Then what's going to happen is we're going to turn it over, get a little bit of colour onto it, and just warm it through in the oven. So this has gone golden brown now, and what we're going to do is just lay it on its side to get a little bit of colour and place this into the oven. So now I'm going to get the pork belly out of the oven and just make sure that it's ready. So if we have a look here, turn it over, oh, look at the colour on that. Alright, so we're now ready. I'm just going to rest it on the other side and just let it warm through. I'm going to take this pan here and now cook the scallops ready to plate our dish. So make sure your pan is really, really hot. We just want a little touch of olive oil into the pan. And now I'm going to lightly season the scallops. Okay, always do this at the last minute because salt, if you season them too, quick, uh, too early, the salt will draw out excess moisture from the scallops. You can see here the pan's lovely and hot. And what we want to try and do is create this lovely caramelisation with the scallops. What that's actually going to do is bring out the natural sweetness of the scallops in itself. So, whilst they're cooking, I'm going to take the pork belly out of the, uh, out of the pan. I'm just going to rest it down on a little bit of tissue just to drain off the excess moisture. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take, this is an apple and sherry caramel, okay? So what we're going to do is we're just going to plate this onto the plate, just around like that. Now I can hear my scallops starting to uh, caramelise, so if we cut over to the pan here, what we're going to do is look at that beautiful fresh local scallops, okay? And then down. So now, whilst they're just finishing in the pan here, we're going to take the pork belly, we're going to place it onto the plate here, and just going to double check the scallops at the moment. These are really going to want about a minute on one side and a minute on the other. What we're looking for is what we call the cuisson, so the point where the actual scallops is cooked but it's still kind of raw, okay? Um, and I'm going to point this out to you and show you this now. So here, the scallop is cooked. It's firm at the bottom, it's firm at the top, but it's got a lot of give in the middle. So what we're going to do now, these are now ready. I'm going to take them over to the plate, and we're going to plate them up. Just take off any excess moisture and fat from the pan. And then we're going to start to plate up. So we've got our scallops here, just like that. These are the cider compressed apples, so it's a local cider that we use from Biddenden. We take some beautiful crackling, just place a couple of pieces of sea purslane onto the dish, and finish with a Kentish apple jelly and there you have seared scallops 
with pork belly, crackling, compressed apple and apple jelly. Hope you enjoy it.